Hello. In this session, we are going to look at the benefits or some of the features of uh, AWS Cloud Service Provider. So in the last session, we looked at an introduction to AWS. So basically, AWS is one of the uh, market leader when it comes to the cloud service provider. So AWS provides you with uh, almost anything that you need as part of your infrastructure, so ranging from compute, storage, database, networking, IoT, machine learning. So basically anything you want as part of your infrastructure, uh, AWS is uh, a market leader in that and it basically provides you all the resources that we can access over the internet. Now in this session, we will look at some of the benefits or some of the features provided by AWS that uh, makes it very popular when compared to the other uh, cloud service providers. Once again, before we start off with this, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's get started with this. Now, the first benefit that we are going to look at is the security. Now, uh, one, one very common question that we get uh, when we talk about your cloud computing is, uh, what about the security? What about the data security, that data that we're going to store on the cloud platform? So your so security at AWS, it starts with the core infrastructure itself. So setting up the infrastructure. So custom built for the cloud and designed to meet the most stringent security requirements in the world. AWS infrastructure is monitored 24 bar 7 to help ensure the confidentiality, integrity and the availability of users data. So AWS has its own um, uh, security setup that gets monitored every uh, uh, hour 24 bar 7 around the clock to, mention, to make sure that there is a confidentiality, there is an integrity and also the user data is available only to that respective users and not to other users. So all the data flowing across the AWS global network that interconnects the data centers and regions are automatically encrypted at the physical layer before it leaves the secured facility. So AWS has this feature wherein whatever the data that is flowing uh, across the AWS global network, the data is encrypted before it leaves the data center and uh, when, when the users are accessing it, the data will be encrypted so that basically others are not able to see your data or basically they won't be able to see your data. The next benefit we have is the availability. So again, this is another important aspect we have. What about the availability of the infrastructure or what about the availability of the data? So AWS delivers the highest network availability of any cloud provider. So when compared to the other cloud services, AWS has the highest availability in terms of the network, in terms of the resources. So each, uh, so AWS is uh, comprised of a region. So we will be talking about your regions in the upcoming sessions. So each of this region is fully isolated. And again, it consists of multiple availability zones which are fully isolated partitions of the infrastructure. And these regions and availability zones helps us to make our data highly available and uh, also you know, fault tolerant. So to better isolate any issues and achieve high availability, you can partition applications across multiple availability zones within the same region. So we can make use of this multiple availability zones to deploy our application across multiple availability zones to make the applications to make the data highly available. The next feature we have is the performance. So the AWS global infrastructure is built for performance. So AWS regions, they offer you very low latency, low packet loss and high overall network quality. So in terms of the performance, AWS gives you a very low latency access to your applications, uh, a very low packet loss and overall a uh, very good network quality. So this is achieved with a fully redundant 100 gigabytes fiber network backbone, often providing many terabytes of capacity between regions. And it also has AWS local zones and AWS wavelength with the telco providers, provide performance for applications that require single digit millisecond latencies by delivering AWS infrastructure and services closer to end users and 5G connected devices. So AWS has everything needed to make sure uh, it provides good performance to the applications, the latency and everything is taken care of by AWS. The next benefit we have is the scalability. So 
The AWS global infrastructure enables any companies to be extremely flexible. So you can increase the infrastructure, decrease the infrastructure based on your requirement and take the full advantage of the conceptually infinite scalability of the cloud. So basically you can scale up and scale down whenever you want based on your requirements. So customers used to, so earlier before the cloud computing was introduced, customers used to over provision the resources to ensure they had enough capacity to handle the business operations at the peak level of activity so whether there was a peak level of activity or not we used to over provision the resources and more often than not we used to end up with a lot of uh, resources which uh, which was uh, sitting idly and we were not utilizing those resources now with your cloud computing we can provision the right amount of resources that we actually need so like you know uh, for for the activity that we have right now what all the resources we want we can provision only that amount of resources knowing we can instantly scale up or scale down depending on the requirement of the business all right so that's the other advantage that we have now this also reduces the cost and also improves the customer's ability to meet the user's demand so like let's say you have a increase in your uh, activity you can scale up your infrastructure and you have a decrease in the activity you can scale down your infrastructure then you have uh, flexibility so the aws global infrastructure gives you the flex flexibility of choosing how and where you want to run your workloads and when you do you are using the same network control plane apis and aws services so with aws cloud computing you can choose which regions you want to use which availability zones you want to use where do you want to deploy your applications on which virtual machines you want to deploy your applications all you get to choose from so you get that flexibility so if you would like to run your applications globally you can choose from any of the aws regions and availability zones and if you need to run your applications with single digit millisecond latencies to mobile devices and end users you can make use of your aws local zones and aws wavelength likewise if you would like to run your applications on premises you can choose aws output so you have this flexibility so whether you want to use on prem cloud or globally you can you can choose uh, you have options available for that the next benefit we have is your global footprint so aws it has the largest global infrastructure compared to the other cloud service providers and this footprint is constantly increasing at a significant rate so basically aws is available across the world you have this infrastructure spread across the world when compared to the other service providers so when deploying your applications and workloads to the cloud you have the flexibility in selecting a technology infrastructure that is closest to your primary target of user so like the region so if let's say your users are in the us locations you can make use of the us uh, data center the us region to deploy your application so that the application is closer to your target users so you can run your workloads on the cloud that delivers the best support for the broadest set of applications even those with the highest throughput and lowest latency requirements all right so these are some of the benefits that we have when we talk about your uh, AWS and all these are you know very important benefits and this is this is the reasons why uh, we are making use of your cloud computing people are moving their applications to cloud computing that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video